plus q plus q and minus q place at the vertices of an equilateral triangle as shown in figure. So, what is the force on each charge? So, dear students, in this example, we have to find out the force on each charge. So, as shown in figure, charge q1, q2, and q3, which are the q1, and uh, two charges that is q1 and q2, which are the positive charge, and these charge which are the negative charge. Okay, as a figure may be aware. Okay. And equilateral triangle the Q because the length jo hai wo same diya hai. That means this angle, the, this triangle which are the equilateral triangle. And uh, as we know that both the equilateral triangle jo angle banega hi, wo kitna hoga? Wo 60 ka banega. Each and every angles which are the 60 degree. All right, which one? So, so dear students, at the point number A pe baat kare. Ye jo humara point A hai, ठीक है? So ye charge jo hai Q1, to uska wahan pe kaun kaun se dusre charge hai? Q1 kilo that means Q1 kilo that means kya ho jayega 
square inside the bracket cos journey cos 60 that means what cos 60 ke value kitni likhi hai humne 1/2 by 2 theek hai chalo so ab iska simplification kar liye ko to cancel out ho jayega so that for f3 kya f3 is equal to what dik under root of f square plus x square plus f square x square plus f square plus f square that is what we can say